What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing analysis on MRNA ticker. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with fundamental news about this company. And at the end of this video, I will show you my forecast for the price of this stock. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to take a part in the limited time offer from Webull and earn two free stocks valued up to $2300, just open new account, deposit only $5 and choose your free stocks, link in my description. So let's start with the price chart. As you can see, we have a massive surge in price from April 2021 till the 10th of August for about 346%. And uh, since then we have this uh, decline in price, let me show it to you, for about uh, 25%. And uh, as you can see right here we had uh, some kind of bearish divergence and uh, this means uh, we have a lower high on RSI with a higher high on the price section right here and right here. And we have uh, this decline and as you can see on 4 hour time frame we sit perfectly well on the 55 exponential moving average. The price section found this line as a major support line and we are hovering right above this uh, line for three consecutive sessions. So, let's continue with fundamentals uh, of this company and first of all let me give you a sneak peek on the company profile. Moderna Incorporated, a biotechnology company, develops therapeutics and vaccines based on messenger RNA of the treatment of infectious diseases immuno-oncology, rare diseases, cardiovascular diseases and autoimmune diseases. And the main uh, reason why this company has this mind-blowing revenue growth of 6515.77% uh, is uh, their COVID-19 vaccine. And for now, this company has a market cap of $155.54 billion. They have a revenue of $7.02 billion with a net income of $3.49 billion. And uh, this uh, revenue growth is mind-boggling. But you have to be cautious with this uh, type of numbers. So, their total cash position is uh, almost uh, $8 billion uh, with a total debt of uh, only $603 million. Uh, they have a current ratio of 1.24. So, from the financial standpoint, this company is extremely stable. They have a huge uh, net income and uh, their revenue growth is uh, really impressive. That's why you can rely on this company from the financial standpoint and uh, it doesn't have any issues at all. So, let's continue with recent news. On August 13th, we have uh, this article on uh, Seeking Alpha and it's titled CDC gives final OK to use Pfizer Biotech and Moderna COVID-19 shots as boosters. And this information is updated. And let me quote you these bullets. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, recommended to use uh, of Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines as booster shots in people with weaker immune systems, hours after an expert panel of the agency fully backed the move. This official CDC recommendation, which follows FDA decision to amend uh, the emergency use authorization of vaccines, is an important step in ensuring everyone, including those most vulnerable to COVID-19, can get as much protection as possible from COVID-19 vaccination, CDC Director Rochelle Walensky said in a statement. So, this information is extremely positive for these uh, two uh, vaccines. And uh, let me show you one more information related to these two vaccines as well. And uh, this article was published also on August 13th and it's titled Pfizer, Moderna to enjoy first mover advantage as COVID-19 expected to become endemic. And let me quote you these bullets. With the COVID-19 expected to become an endemic virus, the analysts project leading vaccine makers such as uh, Pfizer and Moderna to reap billions from COVID-19 booster shots until competitors arrive. Speaking to CNBC on Friday, Dr. Scott Gottlieb, a former FDA commissioner, said that coronavirus could reach endemic status in the United States and European countries after the current surge of cases wanes. Endemic viruses spread in a population at a lower frequency, causing sporadic outbreaks such as seasonal flu. We are transitioning from this 
being a pandemic to being more an endemic virus, at least here in the United States and probably other Western markets. Gottlieb, who led the FDA from uh, 2017 to 2019, remarked. And I have to say, this news is also very bullish uh, for these two companies, for Pfizer and Moderna. But why we have uh, this massive uh, decline in price? And uh, here's why. We are on Market Watch, and uh, this article was published on August 11th, and it's titled Moderna shares slide 16% after bearish Bank of America note, putting them on track for biggest percentage decline since May 2020. And let me quote you this. On Tuesday, Bank of America analyst Geoff Mikam published a bearish note on the company that questioned its valuation after its market cap grew to almost $200 billion, putting it ahead of far more established drug companies like the 40-year-old uh, Amgen, currently valued at about $129.3 billion, and the 130-year-old uh, Merck, valued at about $189.7 billion. According to Meckham analysis, it should be about 75% below its current price. And this forecast becomes a reality. And right here you can see that uh, from this point, 75%, let me show you, should be at the level of uh, around uh, $120 per share. And it is extremely, extremely low numbers, I have to say. So, let me show you institutional investors. Right here you can see the percentage of uh, changes in, uh, in shares. And here you can see the value. And the negative number means this company reduced its position and the positive number uh, means this company increased its position for this percentage. And as you can see, we have uh, more positive numbers right here at this column. And uh, right here you can see the amount, total amount uh, of uh, money invested in uh, Moderna. And you can see mind-blowing numbers. $787 million, $107 million, $457 million. And right here we have uh, 1.4 billion dollars, 4.7 billion billion dollars, and uh, these companies invested heavily in Moderna. So, and uh, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell, and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So let let's start uh, with the Elliott wave breakdown. And it is uh, rather difficult to make uh, the breakdown, but as you can see, we have right here huge volume. This means we have more chances that this wave is internal third wave for the entire movement. This means we have uh, this as our uh, wave and this is internal third wave and inside this wave we have uh, the most powerful third wave as well. Next one we have this wave as the ending wave and this wave as the beginning wave. And these three waves is nothing else than one wave on a greater scale. It is like this. This is the first wave, second, third, fourth and fifth one. And on a bigger scale, these five waves is nothing else but one wave on a greater scale. This means we can measure this entire movement with the Fibonacci retracement tool. And what do we have here? We have uh, levels and uh, we don't uh, hit uh, this uh, the 0 0.382 level. We sit right on uh, the 55 exponential moving average. And uh, usually this retracement has to have a shape of simple zigzag. And in my opinion, we might uh, see this uh, shape because we cannot uh, retrace the entire movement from the beginning uh, to this point in just a matter of a couple of days. We have to have a more lengthy uh, retracement. And if it is the bottom of A wave, we have to uh, have a B wave somewhere at this point and uh, we have to have a C wave somewhere down here. We don't have uh, these uh, two points for now, but I'm pretty sure that we might see some lower price action in a matter of uh, next uh, couple of weeks. And uh, let me show you why I am thinking so. Right here on RSI, on the 4 hours time frame, we are pretty much neutral. This means uh, we might have a price action to the upside and uh, right here we might uh, have, we might find the B, the top of our B wave. And MACD indicator is also uh, ticking to the upside and this means uh, we might uh, see this price action. But if we switch to daily time frame, we just uh, unloaded this uh, extremely overbought RSI. And if we switch on a weekly time frame, 
we have uh, RSI of a level of around uh, 79.52 and it is extremely extremely high. We still have a possibility to go lower on a weekly time frame. This means uh, in a matter of uh, several days we might have some fluctuations around our current prices but then we might have another leg to the downside. And let me show you this uh, candle. This candle is a rather bearish candle and it has uh, uh, very good volume for the candle. This means uh, we might go lower. This is this candle calls uh, shooting star and uh, it is a basically trend reversal candle. So if we switch to monthly time frame, let me show you that we also have this uh, type of candle. Let me show it to you. It is a bearish candle, but we still have 16 days left until this candle will be closed. And on a RSI we have uh, the level of around uh, 84.06 this means we are extremely extremely overbought and I have to say that if you want to invest in this company for the long term I mean uh, for the period uh, from 12 to maybe 24 or even longer months you have to be extremely cautious and I don't encourage you to enter your position right now because we have to unload this RSI and right after we hit at least uh, this uh, neutral uh, territory, you might uh, start to accumulate your position for the long term with this company. So, I think uh, from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. We just uh, have to patiently wait until we will see some uh, uh, price action around our current prices, around uh, these levels. And when we see it, we will have another pivot point and uh, this will be next point when we can uh, make some projections for further price action. So, with that being said, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. See you guys and girls next time. Bye.